Hey, what's going on guys? Kevin, back with another video here. So as you guys can tell from the title of this video, the topic of this video is the Calgary Barbell Virtual Meat Classic 2020. This is the meat recap. As you guys know, I've been working out for this competition for a little bit of time now, and I'm really excited to show you guys how I did it in this competition. Normally for my meat recaps, I kind of just talk about myself, but I do want to show my attempts of my friends and my teammates, especially Derek, because um, for lack of a better word, he's just a little so you guys know, I'm actually kidding. Like me and Derek are actually really good friends. We just have this rivalry. We just basically go back and forth against each other. We always clown on each other. We always say that we're gonna do better than the other person. It's just good rivalry. We've been friends for a long time. We've been competing against each other for a long time. And it's just funny, just, just us two going at it. Just, so just a little background. Our weigh-ins, I weighed at 92.5 kilos. 92.4 kilos actually. And Derek weighed in at 82.95 kilos. In this competition, our weight class was the middle weight, which is from 74 to 93 kilos. So Derek and I are actually in the same weight class. But the competition is based on IPF points, not actually by total. So someone like me, who's on the heaviest side of the weight class versus somebody on like a 74 kilo, like that would not be fair. So using IPF points was the way that we can compare all the lifters. So let's get on with squats. I opened up at 240 kilos. That is 530 pounds. Easy, crisp opener, wouldn't have it any other way. So now I'll move on to my second attempt. I jumped 20 kilos, so now I'm at 260 kilos for my second attempt, and that is 573 pounds for my second attempt. I know, at 573 pounds, it moves so crisp, nice and fast. So now the question is, do we load up 606 pounds, which is 275 kilos, or do we just get that chip, that 601 pounds, finally hit the 600 pound squat club? So I'm going through my mind, like, I just really wanted to be in that 600 pound club, but I just thought, hey, 601, 272.5 kilos, let's give that a run. <laughs> Yes, that is right. I finally, finally made the 600 pound squat club. Oh, oh, I sniffed all the ammonia, got my music going, got my hype men around me. I, it, it's a great feeling. You guys saw how like ecstatic and hyped I was just for that squat. Like to think I squat 600 pounds, it's it's a big milestone for me, guys. I'm, I'm really happy. Like everyone jokes around. I always undershoot my squat, which is kind of true, kind of not. But this squat, you know, I had to push for it. It was, there was a little bit sticking point. I had a little bit lots of position. My back maintained position though, which is a big thing for me. And I just pushed through the range of motion I, and I hit it. It, it. it felt amazing. Absolutely amazing. And to end up the squats, Derek, he squatted my opener, which was 240 kilos, 530 pounds. Let's keep that in mind. All right, now for my first attempt bench. I opened up at 140 kilos, which is 308 pounds. So now I moved up to my second attempt bench, 150 kilos, which is 330 pounds. Start. Press. Nice. So now here's our question now. Do we go for the two and a half kilo bench PR, which would be a 160 kilo bench press, or do I take the same attempt I took at nationals? So if you guys saw my last video, I actually failed one of my slingshot bench presses, which was at 370 pounds. I wasn't injured, but my left, um, my left arm just didn't feel 100%. It felt a little achy. I'm just not fully recovered from that fail. So 
the mindset for this third of 10 bench was to take exactly what it took at nationals because I didn't want to risk failing the lift. So to my surprise, this bench actually moved so smooth. It moved a lot better than it did at nationals. So yes, I probably had that two and a half kilos. I could have taken that, but I'm just happy I moved my max at a faster speed. And for Derek's bench, he benched 142.5 kilos, which is 314 pounds. Just, I guess since we used the pound bar, I'll, he benched three plates. There you go, I'll, I'll give him the credit. He benched three plates. Okay, now let's move on to deadlifts. I opened up my first attempt at 255 kilos. That is 562 pounds. Okay. You got it. Just like that guys, just like all my openers, gotta make those openers easy. You gotta build that confidence, make sure that everything moves nice and smoothly, and nice and quick. So going for my second attempt deadlift, 270 kilos. Um, this is not the video, but I went up for my deadlift and um, they basically loaded extra red plates on my deadlift. So obviously the bar barely came off the ground. I went lopsided. So I definitely exerted a lot of energy trying to pull my second attempt deadlift when it was obviously an extra red on there. So I'm not trying to make excuses or anything, but like, yeah, I tried to go for a second deadlift. I failed it because there was extra red plate on it. So I had to retake my 270 kilos, which I'll show you guys right now. <clears throat> but keep that in mind. I did kind of get screwed over. But ultimately, I should take ownership and check the plates before I take the attempt. It is my responsibility as a lifter. Okay, so at this point, I pulled a 270 kilo deadlift and Derek finished a nice 282.5 kilo deadlift, which is 628 pounds. So at this point, in terms of um, IPF points, Derek and I are actually head to head. We're like, literally head to head. Even though I'm heavier, I have a heavier total. He's lighter with less total, but in terms of IPF points, we are neck and neck. So this third attempt deadlift, like we weren't actually looking at the IPF points throughout this competition. We we're just going for what we wanted to hit. So in this live stream, I'm watching the live stream and, and uh, Bryce, Anna, Danny, they're all saying the same thing. Derek needs to make this pull in order for him to win. Funny enough though, in actually in the Twitch live stream, they're like, they, they made a poll where it's like, who are we going for? This is the third deadlift. Is it gonna be Kevin or is it gonna be Derek? And the poll came out to 68% voted for me. 68% said Kevin. Ooh. Derek's the underdog here. What can I say? I think I'm the stronger and more handsome lifter. <laughs> so for my third attempt, I want a nice PR. I want a nice 282.5 kilo deadlift, which is 622 pounds. This would be a nice two and a half kilo best from my best gym deadlift. <laughs> Ah, damn, I, I missed a lift. This is my first time in about two, two and a half years that I actually missed a lifting competition. This really sucked, like I had no way of finishing it. As soon as I felt my torso leaning backwards, there was no way I could fight through that. And I just had to drop the bar. It was very unfortunate and that's the way it goes. So now I'm at a 700 kilo total and now Derek is going for his third deadlift. He's going for 285 kilo deadlift which is 667 pounds for his third deadlift. That is crazy. Let's see how that one goes. Yeah, I know, right? It was so close, so damn close. He just lost that grip, almost locked it out. I would have been a huge total at 83 kilo body weight. Damn. Aww. I think Kevin you took it then, hey? Kevin took it. So it was Kevin first, Derek second, and Chris Mesa third. So that deadlift happens. You know, all the judges saying, you know, Kevin did it. You know, I think he came up on top. You know, I'm all happy. Derek calls me all pissed off. He's like, he's like, oh. <laughs> if you ever meet Derek, he's just, oh. 
he's talkative, he's all he's all mad at me that I won, he's all, oh, he's being belligerent, yeah. <laughs> so kind of bring more history in it. Derek did leave a comment uh, about a year ago on my Instagram saying, first one to 272 and a half kilo squat wins $100. And I'm pretty sure I squatted that, so Derek kind of owes me $100. But the first place for each weight class wins a $100 gift card to Inner Strength. So I'm just here, you know, all happy and stuff that I, you know, I beat Derek number one in the weight class, you know, all pumped and stuff. But when they actually, when the results actually come out on Instagram, Derek actually beat me by like one point, by one IPF point. I don't know. I think that uh, since Derek is a Calgary barbell coach and this is a Calgary barbell meet, um, I think this is a uh, staged. I think uh, there's some BS going along. I think Kevin BS. took it. Kevin took it. So it's Kevin first, Derek second. And Jokes aside though, we already knew that Derek won. He, he was a lower body weight. It also favors the lower body weight. I just need a heavier total, which I did not actually succeed at. So Derek said, hey, look, I know I owe you $100. I'll give you the $100 gift card. I said, don't worry about it. So what happened is that Derek said, all right, I'm going to give this gift card to one of his lifters so she could buy gear for powerlifting. And I think that is a better cause. Like, I don't need that $100. I really don't. And if this money can go towards a lifter that can get her first pair of knee sleeves that can get into powerlifting, to me, that means a whole lot more. But yeah, I'm pretty salty that Derek won. That's, that's all I'm saying. Like, one point? He beats me by one point? Are you kidding me? Ugh. But what can I say? You know, I tried my best. I overshot my third deadlift. Um, you know, overall though, 600 pound squat, 601, 272.5 kilo squat. To me, that's absolutely amazing. I'm very happy I did that. To reach that milestone, I'm very happy I did that, really am. This whole competition is for a charity, Lift for Life. It's, it's basically a charity that helps push forward powerlifting in Africa. As you guys know, powerlifting to me, is something that's really big, that's really a big part of my life. And if more people can do it, I think it's a whole lot better. I'm not sure how long this video, but I do want to shout out my boy Jake. He also competed with us. He went nine for nine, baby, that's what I like. Big PR on the squat. Big BR on the bench and big PR on the deadlift. A nice 250 kilo deadlift, 551 pounds. <sighs> Good job, Jake. I think you're. I think you watch my videos, so let's give you a fist bump right here. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm still salty. Derek won. <sighs> I still think it's rigged. I'm just kidding, guys. It was a really fun competition. I'm really happy. I had something to look forward to this year during this whole pandemic. You know, I told the exact same as I did at nationals, which kind of sucks. If I took it just a lighter deadlift, you know, I could have had a total increase. I could have probably beat Derek, you know, all that good stuff, blah, 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 blah. So I just more of a learning opportunity. Take what's there on that day and not necessarily go for PRs every time. Because there's going to be a point where you can't PR every single lift at every single competition. I mean, it would be ideal, but sometimes it doesn't happen and that's okay too. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys are a new viewer, please subscribe. That would mean a whole lot to me. And yeah, that's it. That is the uh, meat recap, the Calgary Barbell Virtual Meat Classic 2020. All right, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.